What is going on my dudes one step here and welcome to the ultimate beginner's guide for sub-zero in Mortal Kombat 1 Going over some tips and tricks some best strategies and of course some fun and easy combos to get you started today Take it one step at a time Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get right into it. Please see the image on screen right now to understand the references for one, two, three, and four, because everyone plays on different consoles and we got to speak in terms that everyone can understand. So Sub-Zero is great. He's got a lot of mix-ups like your two, one, two combo. That's an overhead. He's got three, four. He's got back three, four. Both are lows and they're good combo enders. So if you really don't want to do a lot of crazy stuff, what you can do is just crazy mix up your opponent. He's also got one, two, two. It's also an overhead. Those are gonna be your main forms of mix-ups. You got your 4-4 four, four for a low, your 3-4, three, back 3-4, three, 1-2-2 one, two, two for an overhead, and your 2-1-2 two, two for an overhead as well. So you can really just go crazy and mix up your opponent. If you don't really want to do that, you have another combo, your 4-1-2-3. That ends in a low, but it's cancelable after the two, so you can do four to one, two, and then a special. Now, we all know Mortal Kombat 1 is known for the aerial combo. We have air combos, and that's great. So how do you get your opponent in the air? As you can see, they don't really put your opponent in the air. Like any of them really do, right? So how do we get our opponent in the air? Your best and almost your only option, really, is your back two. That's your spinal tap move. It's just one button, your back two. It's an overhead pop-up, which is great, but it's pretty slow on startup and it's very unsafe. So if your opponent does block it, then you are left open for a big punish. So I wouldn't recommend throwing it out there just for fun. You can and it could hit because it is an overhead, like I said. But again, if you whiff or they block, you're gonna get punished. So when do you use your back to overhead pop-up? Well, your best option is to either freeze your opponent and then go for it. Or option number two, freeze your opponent. Because if your opponent's frozen, you might as well just do a free air combo and go for it. Another tip for you is your forward one, two, three combo. It ends in a low, but it's got great reach. If your opponent's far away, that carries you forward quite a bit and allows you a nice combo. So some strategies you might implement with Sub-Zero is like you might want to bait them in, use your ice clone, get them frozen, then go for a combo like that. Because here's the thing, your ice ball, that's great for sure. But it is very slow on startup. It is 39 frames on startup, which is which is quite long in a fighting game. And sure, you can enhance it, but it's still kind of slow. You don't really want to throw it out there because you're going to get punished, especially if your opponent has their own projectiles. But your ice clone, on the other hand, is only 9 frames on startup, so it is 30 frames faster. And in a fighting game, 60 frames is 1 second, so 30 frames is a half second. So your ice clone is a half second faster than your ice ball which again, is very fast in fighting games. You do have your down forward four special move that slows your opponent down, kind of stops them in their tracks. That's a good strategy if you see them trying to move forward a lot, stop them, then throw your ice ball out, then freeze them, get a free combo, here you go. You have two great special moves for combo enders, like your back forward two and your back forward three, the slide. The slide is a low, but it is very unsafe. So if your opponent does block it, get ready to get punished. Enhancing your slide actually switches sides with your opponent and it gains armor, which is really cool. So to see how it is in the combo. And then your slide. I notice your slide does do more damage and it carries in the corner a little bit more. So if you want to get your opponent in the corner for corner pressure, I recommend the slide. Also keep in mind, you can do your ice clone in the air, basically to make your opponent not want to jump and brush you head on, which is kind of good for you. Throw your ice clone in the air, then like psych, ice ball. Combo time. Now they're in the corner. So to recap here, your low, your back three, four, 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 three, four are great just for combo enders and mixing up your opponent. You have your one, two, two for an overhead, your two, one, two for an overhead, mix them up. But again, your best pop-up is your back two. And then in the air, you have some aerial combos, which is great, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I only found a couple that you're gonna use more often than almost all the rest. So in the air, you're gonna use one, two and two, two. To show you how they look, pop them up and then one, two. The reason why you're gonna use that one is you saw your opponent is popped back up to continue your combo. And the reason why you wanna use 2-2 in the air is because you can cancel into your down back four special, which is your air slide. So pop them up, 2-2 air slide, and then continue your combo there. You can also enhance your air slide, your down back four enhanced. So if you wanna use a special move, I recommend the 2-2 and your down back four in the air. If you don't wanna use it, then just go for your 1-2. One, two, and then continue your combo from there however you want to. You have all of these aerial combos, but I'm not gonna lie to you, your two, two here and your one, two here are by far your best to extend your combos. The rest are good, they just really end the combo a lot faster. It's almost not worth it. To show you what I mean, in the air, here's your one, three, four combo. 
Like, that's great, but I would rather extend my combo if possible. And also, here's your 2-1 combo in the air rather than your 1-2. So 2-1, again, that's great, but I would I would rather extend my combo. So yeah, it's great, you got options, but I really only foresee, you know, using those really, those, those big two options, your 1-2 and then your 2-2 two, two combos into your slide, your air glide. On the ground, Sub-Zero is an absolute menace and can really dictate the pace of the match by throwing out his ice clone, make your opponent not want to rush you, and then also throw your ice ball out make them block but if it hits boom free combo again sub zero's got great forward advancing combos like a four to one two three ends in a low as well it's kind of unfortunate that sub zero relies on his back two spinal tap pop up as like his only option for a pop-up but with how many options you have to like freeze your opponent it kind of makes sense like, like it's kind of okay because as soon as they're frozen you have you have an easy option Sub-Zero doesn't have a ton of gimmicks to go for. He's pretty much straightforward, an overall well-rounded character that offers good basics and good fundamentals for any beginner or any experienced player. Now, for some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Let me know what you think of Sub-Zero down below in the comments, guys. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Subscribe for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.